I want to come on real quick and talk about a topic that I said I was going to discuss about a month ago. The educator ego. The educator ego is something that I feel that we see on the different levels of education and or in education. And um, it's never really discussed, but, you know, just like confidence you need. Uh, and I think that, you know, having ego is, with balance is a beautiful thing. But we know that when we are driven by our ego and we want things to happen based off how we want to feel, uh, that can create some really really ugly and toxic situations so before we get into what is toxic and how do things come unbalanced in the workspace let's talk about the different levels of education and so we think about you know the teacher and then we think about admin and then we think about support staff so with the educated ego and we think about our pride as a teacher how are we responding to our students how do we relate to our students goes back to that ego piece so we need ego because we need to make sure that we're confident in everything that we're doing you know confident in our content confident in how we maintain our classroom and so on and so for so we need that good balance but when we are driven by our ego and pride we uh treat students a certain way or we expect students to act a certain way and not like children most of the time and so we begin to respond let me take respond back we begin to react out of our ego versus responding in a way of saying hey i'm going to give you grace i'm going to give you mercy i'm going to give you kindness in this situation as we you know patiently work towards whatever the goal it is that we're trying to see in the classroom setting now on the admin <sighs> The admin sector of educated ego, this is where we have or we've seen, you know, leaders uh, use their ag ag ego to drive them in how they lead their schools. We've seen this. If you haven't, let me just give you a little bit of background about me. I have been in education for almost 22 years and I've had over 15 different principles. So I have seen um, all different types of leading uh, leadership styles, <laughs> good and things that I probably will never, ever um, want to model. OK, so with that being said, when we're driven by our ego when we're driven by our pride and we don't have that balance of how to know what we know, operate in confidence, and with love, grace, and mercy. And when I say mercy, I mean so, more so in the way of just being kind to people um, and saying, hey, I'm going to give you some grace to lead because we know that a good manager and a good leader is someone that allows people to make mistakes along the way as they're giving them tips and strategies on how to accomplish whatever the goal it is. But ed educated ego is a real thing. What do y'all think? Um, I think it's something that definitely needs to be talked. I don't know that I've ever heard anybody on the educator platforms that I am on all social media platforms. No one's talking about the educator ego and how it really impacts negatively. Uh